Hello everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 where we're going to be doing sort of an, a mixed mod showcase but also just a park tour. So if you may remember a couple of months ago I did, or actually it might have been last year now, um, I did a tour of my recreated Jurassic World. So there are a few changes I've made to the park with some of the new dinosaurs from the latest DLC as well as the kelp I've added to the lagoons and a couple of mods to make this a bit more accurate to the real Jurassic World. So if we come down here following our monorail track, we will find, I might just go into capture mode, we will find a monorail gate. So this mod I've downloaded, I can't quite recall who it was from, but yeah, it basically adds the Jurassic World monorail gate. That actually does work. When a monorail comes down the track, it will open and, yeah, functions perfectly. Oh, whoops. So if we keep coming along, we get to the rest of the park. So here we have the lagoon. I've added the kelp to really create an atmospheric um, at, um, environment down here. I've also got the viewing dome. I think that was actually part of the um, original tour. I can't remember. <laughs> it was that long ago. But we've got plenty of fish. Our Mosasaurus. Now, the Mosasaurus has been changed a little bit. If I can find her, there she is. So there are a couple of changes. There's one particular change to the Mosasaurus I'd like to point out, and that is the back. So the back of the Mosasaurus no longer has those um, red, sc red scoots, now blue like it should be. So this mod is certainly helpful in creating a more authentic Mosasaurus to the franchise by giving it those blue scales and... Yeah, it, it, it does change how the Mosasaurus looks. It looks a lot better, and those red spikes are no longer as distracting as they were for me previously. So, yeah, now we have an accurate Mosasaurus. Now, some of the main changes you'll see are on Main Street. Now, there are very noticeable features here, so let's go have a look at them. So, we've got the Petting Zoo, which doesn't have any baby dinosaurs. I didn't download that mod, but I did download the um, overall items and and such to create the gentle giants petting zoo We've got these shades these tunnels um all sorts of things we also have these fence these well walls and also the gentle giants petting zoo sign um other things we have around here is the jurassic world amphitheater which doesn't really oh it's a packy arena okay i thought it was an amphitheater but nope it's a packy arena but it is actually right next to our proper um packy arena right here so I've got our Lost World Pachycephalosaurus in here with some Stiggy Moloch just hanging out, our dome-headed boys. Um, so we've also got a zip line, well, a, sort of more of a flying fox that uh, does have towers very similar to Camp Cretaceous, but unfortunately this one I don't think functions as, well, I don't see any guests entering it, but it would be cool if it did. I was going to put an, a, like the other zip line in, but it just didn't look right. Um, let's see. We'll get to you, Rexy. Now, here's the biggest thing I had to place down. So this is the Aquatic Park, which was part of the Jurassic World attractions. Got multiple pools and some water slides up on this cliffside. So, well, rock formation, I should say. But this thing is huge. Like, it is massive. It, it, I had to clear a lot of space and a couple of attractions to, um make room for this and I wasn't even sure it was going to properly fit like whether I had to take down more of the mountain that was behind or what yeah it was just very big I wasn't anticipating it to be so large but it turned out to be this also comes with its own little archway uh, with doors and braziers um, inviting you in an aquatic park sign as well you also have this bridge that um, I think guests can cross but at least they just stand on it and will gaze up at these um, dinosaur statues which are from the 30th anniversary update for Jurassic Park. There's also this banner here. Now if we come over to T-Rex Kingdom it is very different. So we've got a couple of wall pieces and of course the gate but the most notable feature is the T-Rex Kingdom itself. So this whole massive building for the T-Rex to be housed in. It does come with its own log however I just use the uh, re regular remote viewing gallery but you've got tons of guests up here, and yeah. Now one thing you do have to do is you have to place an invisible barrier 
um, which is a decor decoration item to stop the T-Rex from walking through and also it's best to do it on the other side to stop an escape dinosaur from walking in there. Trust me, it's a hassle to capture a dinosaur in there. Um, but we also have a change to the T-Rex. Now, as you may know, I haven't always been a fan of the T-Rex head sculpt, but this mod changes that. So the T-Rex's head now looks m much more uh, akin to the Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex, which I think is probably one of my favourite head sculpts for the for the animal in the franchise. I mean, that front-on shot's not, <laughs> not really doing it any favours, but it does look a lot better. Looks more accurate to the Jurassic World era. And, yeah, it does a lot for the dinosaur, in my personal opinion. Those cheekbones are no longer as, um, well, as pointy, I should say. They're not sticking out as prominently. Uh, let's see, do we have any more? We do have also these walls and another archway. Uh, let's see. Well, I think that's some of the major things taken care of. So let's head on out into the rest of the park. So we have our Gallimimus Valley here, which... Hasn't really seen too many changes other than the addition of some of these Lost World Gallimimus as in the expanded lore, Isla Sauna dinosaurs were transported to Isla Nubla so I thought I would just include them here. There are also some Lost World Parasaurolophus hanging out with these Edmontosaurus and with these Apatosaurus. Oh, didn't realise you were still in here. That was one of the original Paras that was in here. I forgot it was here. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got our Galmimus Valley herbivores. Now if we head over here, we'll head to our Gyrosphere Valley, which has seen a few changes. There are no longer Compsognathus in here, as well it was getting a bit crowded. We also have, we've also taken away the um, Lux Parasaurolophus habitat here and just moved them all in here, um, into the main exhibit. Uh, we've also got Microceratus in here. Now if we can just find one of those. I mean, there we go. One of our little microceratus. They spread out throughout this whole paddock. And it's hard to keep track of them. We do have some Lost World Paras in here as well. Hanging out with the Lux Paras. Um, don't know if we, we could, we'll be able to find any more microceratus. They're all, oh, there we go. There's one of our 2022 skins right there. So it's more than just these guys. We do have some Cynoceratops living in here as well. With some Stegosaurus. We've got a Patasaurus. Over here we've got our Brachiosaurus herd, just chilling out together. Ah, there is another mod that I do have in here. So, this mod does include a sort of grouping um, behavior. So, I've downloaded an expanded behavior mod, which keeps many of the dinosaurs together, whether um, they have a herd instinct or not. Um, yeah, so that will create some more realistic interactions between some of the dinosaurs. Um, we've also got some Triceratops. Try to make it look more like the Jurassic World Triceratops that was seen in the film. Oh, wonder what he's creeping up to. Oh, probably that Triceratops, yeah. So yeah, all the herbivores have free range of this habitat. And um, if we come over here, we'll find some of the others. So in here, we should have... I think it's all just the same dinosaurs. Oh, we got a Sinoceratops here. And I think some Microceratops have even moved out here away from... Uh, the rest of their group. I think we've also ch made some changes to the river river safari, um, the Cretaceous cruise area. So we've got invisible fences um, to create a, a more atmospheric approach. We've got some Aronosaurus in here in this paddock. All chilling out. Um, we have some Metricanthosaurus uh, remaining the same with their Jurassic World skins. I didn't think I need to change them to the Hammond Collection look. Um, and then we have the Baryonyxes and the Sukumimus. So we've got a, some regular Baryonyx, but also Chaos, Grim, and Limbo, alongside three Sukumimus. At least I hope it's three. It could even be four. I'm not sure. But yeah, we've got all these guys. We zip up here. Um, we do have another mod to check out. So in here we've got Ankylosaurus, but... Um, over here we have the Indominus Rex paddock, which has got a couple of changes. So we've got a few of the vehicles that were parked outside to properly recreate that. We also have Masrani's uh, helipad where he lands. Thought the pilot was changed for a second. We also have this viewing gallery that looks into the Indominus paddock. 
Now, I also think I've... Oh, what the heck? There's a fence broken. But, um... Let's see over here. There is an Indominus Rex feeder that I have not actually placed. So, I'm not sure how this is necessarily supposed to work. But, um... I think it's supposed to go about here. And the crane, like, uh... Yeah, that looks about right. So I'll just hang here with a big piece of beef for the Indominus Rex to eat. Now, I don't know whether the Indominus actually feeds from this or not. I um, haven't actually tested it, but I think the habitat looks a bit more complete now that we've got the, the crane in here. Oh, here she comes. So I haven't modded her either. Like, there is a film accurate Indominus Rex um, mod and a Jurassic World Cosmetics mod, but... Um, that unfortunately couldn't work for me, so I couldn't actually get a film accurate Indominus Rex. Oh, we might be able to see the. Um, oh no, never mind. But yeah, you've also got this viewing gallery, and you're able to place in your own little Owen and Claire to look at the Indominus Rex. And the paddock also comes with the claw, claw marks that the Indominus Rex left. So yeah, it's very cool. And you can also make it look like it's under more construction, or um, I think it's in here i want to say it's in here um oh yeah we also have another thing in here too but uh let's see there are also some other things that you can do to make the indominus rex paddock look like how it would if it was ever opened uh okay i don't think we're gonna actually find the whole paddock itself okay okay so we've got a fence broken it's <laughs> interrupting the tour here but uh, now we're moving into our carnivore habitat, so there is another mod in here which does improve the Carnotaurus, the base Carnotaurus that is, that I've allowed it to, to make it look more like the Fallen Kingdom Carnotaurus. This is the best one I could find that um, I could download, and yeah, it really does the job. Looks just like how it did in Fallen Kingdom. We've got them living alongside some Albertosaurus. Um, Sort of in place of Teratophonius, given that we don't have that guy in the game. And, oh, we have another one over here. Demon's in here too. I'm just not sure where um, she is. So, yeah. Then we have um, a couple others. We have the Allosaurus paddock in here. Wherever those guys are. I do not know where our Allosaurus are. <laughs> Lost them. Um... Uh, Move the mouse around, see if we can find them. Oh, here we are. There we go. Here's our different Allosauruses. Right there. Um, this paddock, I think, belongs to Monolophosaurus, I want to say. Yep, there you go. All our little monos there. Let's just hop back into capture mode. Now, we do have some Ceratosaurus in here living with Segisaurus. Um... So here's one of our Serratos. I think we did all... Yep, I we did add the Jurassic Park 3 Serrato cosmetic from the previous video into into the park here. Now, I just wonder where those Segisaurus are. They are so small that it's hard to find them. Um, oh, there's a go, but that's not necessarily going to lead us to them. Ah, here we go. So we've got our little Segisaurus living in here to complete the Nublar dinosaur roster. Um, we do have a couple of other paddocks. We've also got our Avery, which I think has changed one of the, the animals in here. If we can find one that's in a resting position. There we go. We have a, a fluffy Dimorphodon with a slightly changed uh, face with a lot pointier teeth, it looks like, and potentially even more teeth. But yeah, we've got the fuzz that the Jurassic World Dimorphodons had. So these pycno fibers that were on their backs and on the back of their heads and and such. So now it looks more like the movie version. And yeah, it does a lot. It does a lot of good for the Dimorphodon here. Now it looks just like how it did in Jurassic World. Okay, capture mode is hard to use. <laughs> Let's just um, keep going. So that's our monos. We do have our Tarbosaurus, which I think I just saw. Nope, I did not. Oh, there she is. So we've got the Hidden Adventure Tarbosaurus living in here. Just chilling out. 
So I don't know if she was in our last tour because I don't believe we had the Cretaceous Predator pack at the time. But uh, yeah, so she's living in there. We've also got some more Dilophosaurus. Now I think I did also include some frillless Dilophosaurus in here. Yep, there, there's one. And a couple of Jurassic Park um, skin Dilophosauruses. It's great to have a bit of variety. And we've also got our vanilla um, Dilophosauruses right there. I think our last mod is the Raptor Compound, which is sitting right here, that our Raptors can go into, and we've got a couple of people here. Um, had to make sure the fence kept the Raptors in. And, yeah, it just, it just looks right to have that. And uh, our Raptors are somewhere in here. Oh, here we go. Here's Echo. Missing open space, really? You're supposed to be more adaptable than that. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize this hill was here, but um, yeah, so that's our raptors. I haven't filled in the Camp Cretaceous area, um, but this is a working zip line. Uh, so this will just remain empty um, from now on, like there won't be anything put in here. Now, in terms of the Comsignathus, they have been moved into this larger area that's away from the guests. So they're just a wild dinosaur in here, and we've also got some of our Lost World Consignator skins in there. So that's good. But I th oh, I did also put that Indominus Rex uh, helipad here to try and recreate a better um, control center, but it didn't really work, but hey, it look looks good nonetheless. But uh, yeah, so that's our reworked Jurassic World with all the mods in here to Make it look a bit better. Oh yeah, the gate's also in here. It doesn't really work unless you um, swap it out for an open version and T-Rex can walk straight out. But uh, yeah, so that's our modded complete Jurassic World recreation. Uh, there are probably some things I missed, but overall I'm really happy with this build. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.